Last summer, protesters took on police in an attempt to stop construction at People's Park in Berkeley. A new appeals court ruling late Friday goes even further. There's an opening here! According to the ruling, UC Berkeley can't move forward with plans to build student housing on People's Park because it failed to assess potential noise impacts from loud student parties in residential neighborhoods near the campus, a long-standing problem. The courts are, are micromanaging. It's none of the court's business uh, where uh, UC Berkeley decides to build housing on its land. California State Senator Scott Weiner says the ruling amounts to nimbyism or not in my backyard. According to Weiner, the court is arguing that the California Environmental Quality Act, or CEQA, requires looking at what kind of people are going to move in. You can imagine the stereotyping of low-income people and people of color. That's not how we do things uh, in California. In a statement to ABC7 News, UC Berkeley says they will appeal the decision to the California Supreme Court and that this new decision bestows new privileges and power to the privileged and powerful by arming NIMBY neighbors with additional weapons to obstruct the development of all new urban housing. Basically, it, anyone who has the money to hire a lawyer can use CEQA to try to kill anything they don't like, even if it's super pro-environmental. The new ruling overturns a July 2022 ruling that allows the university to begin construction for housing for 1,100 students and 125 lower income and unhoused residents. The fact that it was appealed uh, to me is kind of positive. Berkeley resident Tommy Ortiz is glad the court blocked the project, albeit for different reasons. Ortiz says the student housing shortage isn't just about availability, but also about affordability, as is evident in the number of unhoused people who currently live at People's Park. There is a housing shortage, but the housing shortage is usually because it's unavailable to people of a certain kind of income. And so even if it's like low income housing. The lawyer and plaintiffs in this case were not available for comment. In Berkeley, Ansar Hassan, ABC7 News.